Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the full playlist. I'm going to try to go through this quickly. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor. Use whatever editor you prefer. We are going to go into our code. Right now I'm calling it math.c. We have our basic C program up here with our main function and uh, returning of zero. We're going to do some basic math today. We're going to create an integer. We'll call A and we'll say that's equal to, we'll say six and we'll say B equals two. And then we're going to create another integer down here. We'll say C and we'll say that C equals A plus B. And then we can use printf to print that out. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say percent D, since this is a, a number here, we're going to also say our new line character. And now here we want, what number do we want to print? We want to print A, we want to print B, we want to print C. Here we'll say C. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll compile it using GCC. We'll say our math C input and then our output we'll just call math as our new executable dot slash saying we're running a command that's in this current directory called math. Run that and it outputs eight. Uh, we can come in here and we can be, um, we can change that if we want to, instead of add, we can multiply, recompile it, run it again. We got 12. We can, oops, we can add, or we just did add. We can divide, oops, run that. So six divided by two is three. And we can also subtract, we haven't done that yet, right? and run it again, four. So that's, that's basic math. Let's go ahead and uh, add a little bit more to this. Let's go ahead and change this back to just plus. And let's go ahead and say percent D plus percent D equals percent D new line. Then here we'll do A comma and B. So again, these are little placeholders here. This is gonna be replaced by whatever A is valued at. This will be replaced whatever B is valued at. And this will be replaced by whatever C is valued at. So we can change the variables up here and it'll change it down there. We should be able to compile that. And I wrote something, oh, I forgot a comma. There should be a comma right here. Let's go ahead and compile that again. Clear the screen and run it again. And there we go, two plus six equals eight. Great. Let's see, how long is this video? We can keep on going. Let's go ahead and get the user input. Now we've used in the past, we looked at gets, which you really shouldn't use, and f gets. Those are getting strings. We want to get um, a numeric value here. So we're gonna go up here. Let's go ahead and create these variables, but leave them blank. Oops. B. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say print f, and I'm gonna say, Enter two uh, integers. Okay, so we're going to get two basically kind of whole numbers here. And we're going to use scanf. And we're going to get two of those integers. So we're going to say percent %d and percent %d. And we're going to say that we are going to put those in. We're going to say dollar sign a comma dollar sign not dollar sign. I said dollar sign, I meant ampersand. Ampersand B. Okay, so now we're gonna get that input from a user. It's gonna wait for two integers. So I should be able to now recompile that and run it again. It's gonna ask for two integers and I can say one and two and it says one plus two equals three. I can run it again, I can say three and six. I can run it again, I can say 23 and 87 and it does the math for me. And it will also look for, I can do this, I can say two, I can hit enter, and it's still waiting for that second integer. I can say uh, 76, and it does the math for me. And if I was to give it three integers, it only looks at those first two. So that is um, some basic math there for you with grabbing the integers from the user. Let's go ahead and look at that again. We're using scanf for this, for getting those digits, those integers from the user. Uh, so I hope you found that useful. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description there. You can search through my videos. 
some of my software, my scripting notes. And if you like my videos, you can always support me, either a one-time donation with PayPal here, or you can become a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash melodic 1000. There's links to all of this in the links to this video or the description of this video, as well as a link to this project here, gitlab.com forward slash melodic 1000 forward slash my bin, capital M, capital B. And if you look under the C folder there, tutorials, there are scripts that go along with this whole series. I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.